I know how we all felt about it, but what did the TikTok CEO actually think of that literal dumpster fire of a hearing on Capitol Hill yesterday? Show Chu showed up again on TikTok today to tell us for the second time in one week. There were two big things he said in this video, and you may not actually pick them up unless you know what to listen for, so I'm going to tell you why he's saying what he is. First, in the video, he thanked the TikTok community for all the support he's received and made four commitments to all TikTok users. Protect user data from foreign countries, protect teenagers, blah, blah, blah. We've heard that before. But the number three commitment has the first big message. Here, I'll let him tell you. Third, we will ensure that TikTok remains a platform for free expression and that it cannot be manipulated by any government. Notice the word any. It's the only word in the entire video that's all caps. He's saying the free expression on TikTok will not be manipulated by any government. Of course, we know he's talking about China, but he could also be referring to the United States. Whether that's past, present, or future, we just don't know, but it's certainly an interesting choice of word. It's saying a lot without saying much at all. The other important buried message is the last thing he said. Here you go. I hope you share this information with your friends, your family, and your elected officials on why TikTok is important to you. And your elected officials. Show and TikTok both know that the platform is not in a good place when it comes to a very real ban in the United States. And they're banking on all of you being so pissed about it that you're gonna call your lawmaker and let him know. If you feel strongly about doing that, I suggest you do it now before lawmakers vote on any of the pieces of legislation that are currently moving through Congress. And there are several of them.